Pay attention. Okay, clear for takeoff. This guy is about to take a flight to remember. As he soars high above the ground, ask yourself one question. Would we be showing you this if something bad wasn't about to happen? The answer, no. And as you may suspect, this guy's ride is going to end painfully. In fact, he's about to crash into that tree down there in three, two, one. Now, some of you might be cringing in anticipation, while others might be yelling at the screen, just show it to us already. Either way, we're guessing most of you at home still want to see what happens, but it's really painful. Are you sure you want to see it? Okay, here it comes. Don't say we didn't warn you. But first, we have another question. Why would you want to see this so much if you know it ends painfully? Well, for one thing, it's not the pain you're addicted to. It's the pleasure. Want to see more? Stick around. Think about your average day, starting with that first cup of coffee, then another when you get to work, then there's the phone calls, texts, emails, social media sites to post to, more coffee to get over the midday hump, another round of emails, texts, and phone calls, then it's home to watch TV, surf the net, and check your email for the hundredth time when you should be going to bed. Sound familiar? We all have things we say we can't live without. But do you really want to be doing all those things? Or on some deep level, do you feel like you need to? When it comes to addiction, most people think of hard drugs or alcohol. And those are serious issues. But we're here to talk about the thousands of smaller compulsions that make up our lives. Whether it's the next episode of your favorite TV show, a hot new game app, or an embarrassing pop song you find yourself humming, even though you don't even like it. And the reason why you become addicted to things has to do with the reward-seeking machine in your head, otherwise known as your brain. And today, we're going to show you how, like it or not, Hello? we're all addicted to something. Prepare to get hooked on brain games. Don't eat. Earlier, you watched part of this hang gliding video that we told you would end painfully. And it may have left some of you unsatisfied. So this time, we promise to show you the moment you've been waiting for. The crash. <laughs> Don't worry, our hang glider wasn't seriously injured. But even though we told you how this was going to end, why did most of you want to see him crash anyway? <laughs> Well, it's partly because your brain, especially your frontal lobe, which processes plot and narrative, loves a good story. When a new story unfolds, your brain tries to figure out what happens next, because your brain was designed to learn new things. Like, don't do this. It's one of the reasons you get hooked on movies and TV shows, can't put down that novel, or are dying to know the latest gossip. Guess what I heard. As long as plot lines aren't resolved. Get down! Your brain keeps you coming back for more. Now, you might be thinking, sure, my brain can get hooked on a viral video like this one. Oh! Or this one. But I'm not really addicted to anything in my real life. Before you feel too confident, we want you to answer three questions and be honest. In the last 24 hours, have you had three or more cups of coffee, soda, or alcohol? Have you surfed the internet for more than two hours without getting up? Have you ever spent more than your budget allows while shopping online? If you answer yes to one or more of these questions, you're like 90% of the people we ask these to. Which means, at the very least, you have a mildly addictive brain. But don't worry, we all share something in our brains that creates the potential for addiction. The question is, what is it? To find out, let's play a game. You've probably seen one of these before, right? But this is no ordinary slot machine, because to win this game, all you have to do is complete four simple analogies. 